Hey, it's Classic G Body. Wanted to make a video update. Finally, a video update, I should say. It's been at least a month or more since I've done anything on YouTube besides uh, browse it daily for videos and uh, things like that. So, anyways, just been busy with my job. Uh, I have a little home home lawnmower repair business that that uh, doing real well for me this year. So. It's kind of addicting because it's easy money and I can't really get away with it, get away from it. But it is taking a lot of time away from my cars, so I really haven't touched those at all. So, uh, hence the lack of videos. So, uh, I have made a few purchases this spring so far. So I want to show you guys exactly what's been going on around here. Got a set of keys here. General Motors. And a Ford key. I'm a diehard GM guy, so what the hell am I doing with a Ford key? So I'll show you exactly what these keys belong to. Here's a couple of my lawnmowers. I only have three left, and the ones the parts. I sold probably about ten mowers this, this spring so far. And uh, there's the Malibu still sitting there. Transmission. All right. Well, you're basically you're basically going to see what the Ford keys belong to. But you'll have to stay tuned for the video on that one. But the GM keys belong to a pretty sweet ride. Uh, at least I think it is. And uh, this is what it is. A Woody wagon. This is a 1994 Buick Estate wagon or I should say Buick Roadmaster estate wagon. Anyone who knows these wagons is the 94 through 96's were the most desirable years because of one thing. They had the Corvette LT1 350 engine in them. And this is definitely one of them. I picked up this car cheap. It's in beautiful shape. Uh, this was my dad's friend's car and he needed money so I threw a number out there I said hey I'll give you an X amount for this car he said alright get rid of it take it off my hands so I did I called up my buddy and he towed it home for me and the reason why he towed it home is because it doesn't run uh, one of the most common problems with the LT1's is the Opti Spark goes bad on these things and this is this is the situation. The OptiSpark went bad on this car. It's been sitting for about three and a half years. The plates on it said that they expired in 07. My dad's friend only drove this car for 500 miles the whole time that he owned it. So, there it sits until I fix it. I plan on, I hopefully plan on to start wrenching on this thing uh, this weekend, but there is whole lot of rain coming and since this boat doesn't move anywhere uh, it's gonna sit here until I get it running so if it rains I can't work on it yeah, look at that little hornet's nest yeah but this car is clean it's fully optioned I believe it has every option except for the heated seats it's got full leather. It's got the third row seating. It's got the cool Vista roof in it. It only has 86,249 miles. It's got also has the electronic digital climate control, cassette player passenger power seats, the seats are in nice shape let me show you the the engine, the carpet's in nice shape doors are in nice shape, this car's never been hit it's got the aluminum wheels the hood needs to be repainted so I'll do that V8 port fuel injection 5.7 baby yeah so this is the LT1 now this car 
from what I uh, was told and what I've been looking looking up about these cars is since this car has a belt driven fan, clutch fan, it has the tow package. The tow package I believe included the transmission cooler and also a 291 rear gear ratio. And the OptiSpark, which I mentioned before, is the module that sits right in between the timing chain cover and the water pump. And it's driven by the camshaft. So those things go bad. The spark dies, the engine dies, and that's it. That's done, they're done for. So I gotta tear apart the whole front of this engine and uh, get that thing fixed and take a couple whole shot videos of this car because I'm going to fry the tires off the back of this thing. And also, what I found out about this car when I peeked underneath, hopefully you'll be able to see. See that? Limited slip posi traction. Gotta love that. So both of these rear tires are going to be smoking on this bitch. So yeah, this is a cool ride. I've always liked these cars. I remember when these cars came out. I remember sitting in these cars at the at the auto show, liking the Vista roof. And now one of these boats are sitting in my driveway. So I, I believe the plans with this car is I'm just going to fix it, clean it up, and sell it. I have enough cars here to keep me, keep me busy. There's what the Ford keys belong to. You'll just have to watch one of my other videos. Stay tuned on my channel and you'll see what's going on with that truck there. So you can see it's a cool little ride. But this is pretty much it. It's a clean car. A little bit of rust. I mean, actually the only rust on this car, I should say, is the, the uh, spare tire well which is common on these things to rot out at least in this climate but everything else is I mean this is just surface rust right there these cars normally rot right here rear quarters lower quarter panels rot on these things bad around here it's got dual exhaust It's a cool ride. People love to, to slam these cars down, put a set of wheels on them. You know, considering they have the LT1 engine in them, these cars run well. They run real good. I believe that these, even though it's a Corvette 350, I believe these are rated at 260 horse. That little fucker. That's it. Hopefully I'll get start working on this thing this weekend. 94 Buick Roadmaster State Wagon.